Okay. Hello, everyone. Starting a bit late today. Sorry about that. I slept in because I was tired. But, um... Um, by my hair, I, I was, um, getting the item from this guy. I think that's the last thing I did last night. Uh, but now we're going back to, uh... Oh, I don't mean to camp, I push that. I meant to go to the map. But before we go to the... Well, I guess we go, go to, uh... Town first. But, um... Then I'll show you... The work that I did. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I uh I picked my team. And you kind of saw them there in the camp, but uh this is the team that I think I'm going to go with. Uh I don't know if it's a very balanced team, but it's it's kind of my favorites. Sort of. I mean, I want I wanted it to be sort of balanced like I didn't want too much um of one type. I mean, I, I do kind of have two fairy types, but, uh, um, yeah, I, I, I couldn't leave either of them out, so, uh, <laughs> that's what we did, and there were some that came close to want, to me wanting to put them in there, like, um, well, I thought about Charizard, but that's just kind of, I don't know, a little bit boring, I thought really hard about Lucario, but, uh, it's just such a typical pick, I thought. Because um, they're kind of in the order that I added them to the team. Like, obviously my shiny is going to go there, especially since it's a Pokemon that I really like. And then Mitsuru, kind of been my companion. Um, Bonnie, I really love. That's probably my favorite new Pokemon design. Uh, this was maybe a different one, but uh, it's an interesting type, and I really like how it matches the character, and uh, after it learned Overdrive, it's just been really good in battle, so um, yeah, and then of course Rarity, and uh, yeah, this was the one that was hard, um, but I do like this Pokemon, and it's really powerful in terms of its special attack, and um, I don't know, it's a good type combination, I think kind of fills in for what we didn't have. Um, who else did I, I really strongly considered uh, <laughs> Ellie here, but uh, again, another fairy type, even though it's also water. Um, and which other ones did it almost make the cut? Well, I mean, I got this one to level 60, but that's just because I wanted everything to evolve. So everything has evolved. Uh, all the dragon types that hadn't before. And, uh, I think it's mostly dragon Oh, okay, no, there was stuff like this, too, that took it to level 50. Um. Yeah, this one evolved as well. Sayaka. Toru here. Um. Of course, I also considered putting Estoffo in there, since he was my starter, but, um, I don't know. 
I mean, from the start, I wasn't really that crazy about the starters pool, and I, this one, I actually probably, in terms of design, well, I liked Score Bunny the best of the of the first form. It, the Cinderace might actually be my least favorite of the final forms. I'm not really sure though. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. Um, so it is still cute. I mean, I don't know. It's not a bad Pokemon. I also thought about Makoto because I didn't really have any like of the more rugged types like Ground or Steel or Rock or anything like that. But uh, I mean, as a Pokemon. This one's all offense anyway. It's not really there for the defense like you would expect from a steel type. So, I don't know. I kind of wanted Melanie, but I already had Mitsuru, so... Got my ice type covered. Um, I considered Nicole as well, but... I didn't... I still gotta work on these ones. Someone I need to get with who will, who is willing to trade with me. Just so I can evolve my trade Pokemon. Because uh, those ones are the only ones that aren't level 50. Or higher. But, um... Oh, well, there's also this, uh... This Slowpoke. But I haven't been really leveling it up. Because I know I need to do... I need to go to the expansion pack areas. In order to evolve it in the first place. So... That one's also waiting. But for a different reason. Uh, anyway, we'll see what happens with this team. I don't really know if this is a good team to take into the Champion Cup, but uh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> this was a lot of work. It took me pretty much the whole week to uh, get all these Pokemon up, because I did grind manually up to 50 for everyone. I used my Rare Candies to get to 60 for my team, but um, so I only have 13 left, but... Um, yeah, level 50 for everyone was all manual grinding in the Lake of Outrage. Anyway, let me just see what chat's saying before we get started. Free Hachima. <laughs> yes. What happened on Saturday? Were you okay? Uh, uh, well, I don't want to really get too far into that, but yeah, just... Friday night, I had a kind of rough night, and it left me... I slept really hard. Uh, at the end of it, and I woke up really late and just felt drained and didn't really want to, uh, didn't really want to stream. I, uh, I didn't want to force it. I mean, if I'm not really in the mood, if I'd rather be doing something else, then it's probably not best for me to, uh, go and do a big involve involving stream like that, where I'm going to be doing it for hours and taking people's money for reactions. I didn't want to do that when I'm, like, not feeling like I'm in the right mindset for it. Mm. Gotta use the shiny you randomly found. Yes, of course. Is the Blastoise named after Yukari from G Girls and Panzer? Yes, yes. Because, I mean, it's got the big cannons. So, uh, I think it seems fitting for her, being the cannon loader and everything. Um. I'm willing to trade? Okay, cool. Well, uh. Contact me on Discord, and, uh, we'll maybe do it. What's my favorite Final Evolution starter of all of them? Um, I don't know. I mean, it might not even be one of the ones I have. Because I, I, so I don't know, maybe, maybe it is. I mean, in a lot of ways, it's still Charizard. That was my first, but that's mostly nostalgia speaking, and I don't know if I want to fully acknowledge that, because I know that's the case, but, um, mm, I do really like Incineroar for some reason, oh, and I also like uh, the, the chicken one, though I more prefer the first form because it's adorable, Torchic. But I like its final form, too. Um, oh, this is... It might be, actually, Primarina here, honestly. I did actually really consider putting this on my team. <laughs> and I just love the design. So I, I think I would probably go with Primarina. Hmm... Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah the Dynamax candies. I, I did feed all uh, all these ones I, I gave Dynamax candy to. I, I could give them to more of my Pokemon. I don't know if I have enough for all my Pokemon. I might with 950. But, um, I don't know. Oh, for this game? Um, oh, uh, well, um, as said, I think I do, I don't know. It might actually be Inteleon, even though I think Sobble was my least favorite of the starting forms. No, I think I liked it more than the grass one, but, um, Inteleon's really cool with the whole, uh, gunner motif. Like, that's uh, pretty awesome. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and actually do this. Yeah, I didn't mean to talk to you, Hop. I already did last time. Serendipity, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality for us, but I'll need to check your gym badges, if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. But it looks like Bead couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow I didn't think he'd be just take being disqualified lying down, you know what I mean? Well, if he was disqualified, of course he didn't make it. <laughs> He's not allowed to be here. <laughs> it is kind of weird how he just sort of drops out of the story, because he was like one of the rivals early on. I guess it is what it is. Maybe he'll come back, though, eventually. Still. Because I know, I, I know after the Champion Cup, there's still something else, I think. Like, we gotta do some stuff with the Chairman guy. Come on, Serendipity, we should head to the locker room. Sounds good. Attention, gym challengers who have made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. I'm sorry, but only authorized people are allowed to enter here. All right. So is that how it's going to work? Are we all... It's kind of a quick tournament. Am I only going to have to fight two people? Oh no, three people it would be. And then the champion, I guess. Because I don't... Leon isn't going to be one of the people. So is it going to be Marnie, Hop, and... I don't know. It's time for the semifinals. I'm very curious about who will win among the four. Who have competed in the gym? Oh, there are only four people who have competed. Oh, when you're ready, please head for the pitch. Well, that kind of makes it hard to do a tournament like that. I don't, I don't know. Oh, we're starting with Marnie? Okay. This is... What it's come to for the ship. Huh, I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know that there's been a lot between us. What with my brother, Team Yell, helping. Spike with and all that. But the truth is, when all's said and done, I really just want to become champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. You're challenged by Gym Trainer Marnie. Pokemon Trainer Marnie sent out Lipard. Alright. I've got to win this if I'm going to be the champion. I've come, come at you with everything I got. Maybe I should have went for the fairy move. I'm bad at this misses. And it did! Wonderful! 90% accuracy. It's not even that inaccurate, but it seems to miss more often than... Well, now I'm deep in it, so I'm just going to try it again. Well, that's good.
Do I swap out? She's fairy and is poison, so that's not a good idea. Hmm. Grass is also weak to poison, though. So this would be sacrificing Dorothea. Oh, it also is dark, I think, so... But... Honestly, you guys told me I need to be level 60 for that for this, but obviously it's not for Marnie. Oh wow. Critical, okay. Damn it. Maybe but maybe Leon is what I need to be level 60 for? <laughs> Everyone's cheers back in me. My robot might not use it, but I'll get <laughs> okay, cool. Hopefully Kyoko can survive this. Bit intimidating, not gonna lie, but uh... We'll see how it goes. Favorite move, huh? Oh! Well, that... See her getting out of this. If I use an item, it'll just take me back down. I could. What's the type on that snooze? Trying to know who would be able to tank it. Like, <laughs> is it. Is it fairy? Is it psychic? That's true, it would have not been effective. So it's, um. Uh... Oh, it's dark, okay. 
so dark. I don't think I have anyone who has resistance to dark. Just as far as I can recall. So I might just have to let Kyoka fall, which I hate doing, but. Oh, our do oh, well, that's pretty damn good damage. Maybe it is necessary. Okay, so I lost, but I got to see a lot of good points of you and your- Oh, That is so Sundere! You and your Pokémon. Everyone in the stadium was watching us during all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokémon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. I think I'll join my brother in the stands, and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I'll, I, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. all. I know you will. Serendipity. I'll be waiting for you in the final match. So there's really only two matches. Okay. After seeing the way you battled, I can't accept any outcomes besides winning this match. My team is on fire. Surprise! Who'd you beat? <laughs> Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Oh, I guess... I guess he hadn't won yet, but now he has. So as soon as you're ready, we'd like you back on the pitch. Did my Pokemon get healed, or...? Am I not a four? Oh, they do good. Okay, I think I'll still start with Doro. I'm a cameraman from Macrocosmos Television. Sorry, the camera is rolling now. The final match for the semifinals is about to begin. The ones who will battle in this final match are challengers Serendipity and Hop. Both are endorsed by the champion. Hey, I'm on TV. Hey, hey, hey. Hello there. You know this over here? It's misleading. There's not that many matches. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Final match of the semifinals. Oh yeah, I used up that... I didn't realize... Does it tell you that the throat spray is the one time you side him? I don't think it did. I don't have another one. Yeah, it says nowhere that that's a single-use item. That's kind of lame. I guess I'll give her another one, though. I don't have a better thing to give her.
Yeah. Time to take out Hop. Should I save before Hop? I mean, it feels... I feel like I'm... <laughs> admitting there's a possibility he might beat me by saving, but... I just had this sort of flashback, you know? Remember back when we were still in uh, Postwick? When we got our Pokémon from Lee that day? I never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here, facing you of all people. But it's time I finish what was started that day. Got it? The one who will become champion is me. Oh. Cool. Cool music. Alright. Double. Okay. Starting with your double still. Good. Glad to know you're still using that. Please don't miss Doro. Battle back in the garden, but I'm really, really fired up for this match in the stadium. Good. Yeah, well, you <laughs> couldn't really do anything about it, could you? This is a kind of bad type matchup for her. Do I swap out though? Steal. Yeah, this would be the one to swap to if I was going to swap. I'm going to do it. shot it with overheat. Oh, that leaves my special attack depleted a bit. You probably have something non normal. I'm gonna fire spin. Crap. Time to ally switch. Got the fire spin going though. Did I misread what that does? I thought it just switched to a different Pokemon. Okay, we'll switch manually then. Why did that fail?
Yeah, that's probably not going to save you. Now let's go for the 100%. Oh crap! Screw you! Screw you! Full restore. Don't need a high jump kick. That did pretty good. I think another one of those will actually kill it. Okay, what do you got? Oh yeah, you're a starter. Makes sense. Grass type versus grass type. I'm fine with that though. Oh, of course. Should have saw that coming. Time for Dynamax. Again, I'm feeling rather overleveled. You guys were insistent about the 60 thing, so I mean, I guess it's going to go me. It's going to send me straight into Leon after this, and he's going to be like really OP. I mean, that feels kind of wrong for the game to do that, but. That's kind of weird. Why is the power on the Max Knuckle version of High Jump Kick so low? It's lower than the normal version. Oh, I used it. Oh, well. Yeah, maybe we don't even need to Dynamax. Maybe I want to finish with style anyway. Let's use the Max Starfall, I guess. Gotta finish in style. what it takes. Sorry about that hop. Yeah. Taste the defeat. Oh, <laughs> You kind of feel bad for him. Serendipity, thanks mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. And the victor for this of the semifinals, the challenger who has won their way through all of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is Challenger Serendipity. Wait, that was the semifinals? What, uh, uh, you know, even when Sonya was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, I never really felt like one. But you, but you mate, I think you maybe could really do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Serendipity, and Sarina, and all the rest of your team. Oh. Here he is. Serendipity! That was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. 
To think that the two of you set out together from the same town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. That burning desire to win, those moves filled with an undefeatable passion, it was battling at its very purest in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first, that was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger, and the challenger standing before us might well end up being you, Serendipity. In fact, oh, okay. So there's more? I'm kind of unsure about how this tournament works, like... Who else is there? <laughs> that, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. That's right, Serendipity, the real challenge is what's coming next. And I'm completely exhausted, I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best to refill your energy stars first, why don't we go get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but... You never care at all what food tastes like, Lee. A night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaways, so at least pick something good. And of course... Figured we'd be going here for story reasons at some point. Challenger Serendipity! Hey, Challenger Serendipity! Got some time for questions? First question. You and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in a sense, wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? I mean, it's kinda... kinda ordinary. <laughs> it's happened a lot. Right. Question number two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? Well, he's right there, so... I could just say it. Question 3. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals, too? Uh, yeah. I, I guess. Alright, <laughs> I'm still not... <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Serendipity, already tired from battle? And you've been asking rather rude questions. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brother, so sorry, but clear off already, would you? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. Phew, famous people sure have it rough, eh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. Yeah, probably shouldn't do that. Several hours later. This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he'll say, what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. Kid sure got a mouth on him, huh? Oh, hey, the, you haven't seen you in a while. If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know? Oh, pack it in, Piers. I'm seriously worried here. So, I don't need to see your smug mug <laughs> looking like you're having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost to your mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him heading to Rose Tower. How do you go there? I don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. He said to tell you that he'd had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late to your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could he have, d have to do there at this hour? Piers, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Ser Serendipity nor I know the way. Sheesh, what rude siblings. Always so demanding of others. Though, I suppose... I mean, he is, Hop is kind of being rude to this guy. I mean... It's a real problem for me, too, if the finals are held up for any reason. And I don't really hate the two of you, little runts. You were good enough to beat me, after all. So I think I'll invite Team Yell along, and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant. You're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. Can Marnie come along, too? I, I want to see her. I 
you just have the same dialogue as before. I think you do too. Still not much I can do here. So, are we gonna have to do other stuff before we do the Champion Cup? Oh, there she is. They're cool. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Serendipity. We decided that Team Yell will cheer you on. Serendipity, let's help out together. Aw. Cute. Oh. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Miss Oleana? Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. I mean, is this really the time for that? I mean, can they really even postpone this whole Champion Cup thing? I think people are kind of probably a little invested in it, so... You'd think there'd be a set time that we have to be there, but... I don't know, maybe it's not till the next day? It's not really clear. After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kind of menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I chose? Do you think you can find me? What should we do? This isn't good, but I got this one. Serendipity, Team Yell's yelling will handle this. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. Alright. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Sure. Alright, let's all work together and head for Rose Tower. Let's find Oleana's League staff member. That one was wearing those lame shades, right? Mm. If I were this bad League staff member, I'd just lose the sunglasses. I mean, that would help you, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I can see why. Mm. You running around looking for something to look for. Very useful. is very helpful. I have no choice but to look this way. Okay, well, uh... I didn't think that was actually gonna be the guy. That was like a fake out.
No. Oh. oh, hello, Marnie. I really appreciate it. Suddenly talk to me like that, I accidentally turned around. All I needed to do is hide, and I won't have to, to give you the key. Oh. <sighs> okay, well. We gotta start. Could he be in, like, the station? Or was he they, they gonna stick to outside? And the music's different in here, so I don't think. Maybe we're not going into buildings? No, I don't wanna go to those places. Hey, well, you can go to these places from here! Wait a second, I thought this was just a monorail station, but no, you can use the. Tr why? Why did I go here then? Why does this station... Maybe he's in that first area. I'm definitely thinking buildings are not. Bring out the bike. Make it a little easier. Move around the big town. Were you there before? I don't remember you. How'd you find me, or did you just talk to everyone you met? My jump kick is pretty useful. <laughs> Just cheer me on. I don't think I need to be level 60 before all this, you guys. Like, maybe 50 would have done it. They say, hide a tree to, they say hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. It's not a very big crowd, though. Oh. 
Don't make it too obvious now. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. How many times am I going to have to do this? Every steel type imaginable, huh? She's oh, she really is. One shot the steel. So I guess I could have. No, I, I, I couldn't do it. It's, 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 yeah, still gotta use. The high jump kick. Hiding didn't work and battles didn't work. Only thing to do now is run. Wow. Or you could give up, you know. Seems like you've got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. An ear from, from Miss Oleana is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner that league staff member at the station together. Doing this now, huh? You did a cracking job of cornering that bad league staff member, Serendipity. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rockin' deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Maybe I can't cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make any, any, anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still the song... I guess he's singing this. But still the only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. Piers! Go Piers! Hey, isn't that Piers? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. And draw the crowd. Nice. <laughs> That's cute. We got the key, Piers. We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. Serendipity, hop. Now's your chance. Go get out of here. Guess Marnie's coming too. Nice. I really wonder who the fourth semifinalist was. I'm sure they're nice. So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Team Yell is going to have their hands full holding up those bad league staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yes, Serendipity, what should we do? Good thing, let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Yeah. Serendipity, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is charge on ahead. An employee's an employee, I guess. Seems that exec lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion holed up inside. Wonder what he's playing. Yeah, it seems like a very bad idea on his part. Oh, I guess... well that didn't take long. 
Times like this, when tension and passion run high, remind me of, Sp of Spike Month back in, in, the, in the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going. I'll send some support your way with a yell. <laughs> Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. I mean, you could also come along. We'd like to have you, Marnie. Okay. Oh, big area, I see you. Oh, rare candy, nice. Not something I really need right now, though, because all my Pokemon are overleveled. You guys told me specifically to be level 60. Eerie Impulse? Interesting. Could be useful. And since I do have a team picked out now, I could, uh, could actually start using stuff like that. Electric I really don't like the single use items. It's kind of annoying. Give me an item I can equip permanently, huh, on a particular Pokemon. Whoa, it's huge in here. Where in the world is this place meant to be? Listen, Serendipity, don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard, po I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. I'm sure that won't be relevant. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premise at once. See, if Miss Oleana says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. And you're gonna use skill types too? Come on, give me something different. And for one thing, I'm kind of almost out of... Probably should have been the, gone to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I'm almost out of high jump kicks. Oh, you survived. My bonus, my dream of finally affording a house of my own. <laughs> we need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the list. Oh, wow. You're going to actually tell us. I didn't expect that. Chairman's at the top of the building. Uh, okay, okay. Well, that's... I'm not really sure. All right, we need to get... Hold on, Lee, we're coming. Come on, Serendipity, let's crack on. Okay, so I'm gonna switch my party up, and since uh, maybe it's gonna be mostly steel types, we'll put the fire type in front. Uh, and I guess I'll take the moment to look at chat real quick. Inteleon mm. underrated. Yeah, I mean... Mm. 
She has a she has toxic rogue specifically so she can't be ground under by fairy types. And that makes sense. Mm. This game is so hard, am I right? Well, not when I'm like level 60 when I don't need to be. Gigantamax Grimmsnarl is a JoJo character. I mean, pretty much. Was he able to do a PvP battle? Well, I did get all my Pokemon to level 50, so I, I guess I could do it at some point now, but I don't know. I tried very hard to like Hop, and I just failed. I mean, Hop is kind of... Yeah, I don't know. Citrus Berry is always a good health item. I've, I've never used the berries as health items. I kind of just like things that they don't get used up, and I know berries do. Alice, oh, Alice switches for doubles. Okay, I guess that makes sense. That's. Uh... Not very clear from the description. Hop's character arc is him realizing he's not the main character of this game. <laughs> Artie's now Ame. I'm not really sure in what sense, but uh... I don't understand Marnie's character, to be honest. Her design doesn't match her personality. I mean, I think that design is pretty fitting for a Sundere. I, I think, I mean, it works for me. It's just Sundere. Although very, much more Dere side. So I guess she is a little bit sweeter than you'd expect. But she still does have those kind of Sundere phrasings. And uh, just that cute air about her. I missed an item on the right side of the tower outside? Okay, well, I'll go. I think I can go back. On the right side. Like down here or up there? Must be up there. Must be like behind this. I don't think it is, though. Oh. Kind of blunt in. What a weird specific item that sounds entirely useless. How are you today? Why is there a receptionist if only authorized personnel can enter? Like, what do you do all day? Do you just... You're the front desk, but... I mean, no one's coming in here, pretty much, except employees. So, I guess you just... Like, and I'm guessing they know what to do, so...
I guess you just check people in. Is that how it goes? Alright, well at least we got an elevator and don't have to go up a hundred floors manually. Oh, but of course it's gonna stop a few times. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? For a battle. Oh! Okay, the, the, <laughs> the female employees are kinda cute. Thank you for taking part in the Galar League's Gym Challenge. And I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the gloriously high text elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macro Cosmos Construction. Alright. Jane and Mateo. Still sticking with the steel types. Yeah, I'm not sure the double's a good choice here, but uh, I'll be sure to carry Hop. one. All these are one. I mean, I guess I could actually use Ally Switch now, but uh, no point to it. Which one's more... I could... Let's Shadow Ball the Bronzong and then we'll overheat. Actually, if it's paralyzed, don't I just fire spin? Well, now I guess I do nothing. Hmm. Well, you probably went for the double, I'm guessing. Well, maybe you went for... Oh, no, I'm... I'm, I'm fire type, so I'm... Wait, let's, uh... What? I guess I have to select it? I mean, why would you even have to do that? Okay, good, paral paralysis. But it was, like, grayed out, so I, I don't even know. Can you not use it on someone else's Pokemon? It's just if you're in double battle? So that's, like, way lamer. <laughs> like, how often does that even come up? <laughs> that face. We've created an extraordinary lift that's safe even for... Yeah, you seem very proud of that. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos construction. <laughs> okay, are you giving us a sales pitch? I don't think we're going to be building any construction pro projects. If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to re respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask once more for... Once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends. But that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. Yeah, that's... Different. You can thank Mac... Yeah, you really are plugging this company uh, for providing this wonderful technology as well. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to keep... We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them all up. Oh, okay. Don't make it too easy now, Hop. We wouldn't want that. Kind of wish you guys would have just said level 50 for the next thing. Rarity Dash. 
Rose Tower is all are you different people or the same ones? It's almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about five hundred feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? What the hell? Why are they all salespeople? <laughs> this is silly. Um Oh, MC for Macrocosmo. I see. Sticking with the steel, huh? That's fine. I'm not going to use any physical attacks. I don't have any in the first place. should bring out something other than your double hop. And you can see the trend here. They're all using skill types. Let's just overheat. And fire spin might have been able to do it, but that'll do it for sure. Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. This building... Yeah, you said that. That's as tall as around 100 Machoke standing on... Oh, okay. <laughs> These people are weird. I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Well, um... Okay, but I, I'm pretty sure Pokemon Centers are free, so... I, I guess you're just talking about your emotional harm of losing? You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for the lofty Macrocosmos Air. Uh, what does that even mean? Like... Now, is that one pure steel? weaker, so I'm going to just fire spin it. Nah, well. Well, the Vortex will kill it eventually, so I can switch to the Poké, or, or the Double will kill it. Now the, the Vortex might kill it now. Somehow I don't think Hecaboo should be tanking these attacks like that. I am severely overleveled. Should I just not have believed you guys when you said 60? Like, I'm pretty sure it was more than one person who insisted that it was. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You ever get the floaty feeling when a lift is going up? Or did you build the lift? Is that what the air does? Or Don't you presume to meet the chairman. You're not on the same level as such a great man. 
You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top, not just of this tower, but of all Galar. Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp, let's do this. Alright, well there she is. Oh, that's... Okay! <laughs> I guess I can't look around. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got through all of the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. Well, yes, they were very special. So I, I think you selected them well. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. Also, I mean, they all use steel types. Basically, all you need is one fire Pokemon. And, uh... Your partner can even use a double, and uh, then it's easy still. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because, oh wow, that face, that face is, um, huh. <laughs> I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. Oh wow. You shall be the first, Serendipity. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. Why, why do you want that? In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Okay. I, I'm not sure that's quite how that works, but interesting plan. Yeah, you look a little crazy there, lady. Okay. Well, I guess... Do I use fire or ice? Or fire or ghost? Both will work. I think I'll go with the ghost. Hopefully I'm faster. I mean, level, I'm 10 levels higher, so I think I probably am. Oh, you're faster, damn it. My, how cheeky to do such a thing. I want it. I want one. I need to evolve mine. It's a water tap. Oh, it's a water tap. Damn it. Um. Pure water, right? Not like water ice. I'm pretty sure. Pretty diverse team. You're forcing me to switch a lot. I like that. She is fairy though, so this could be bad if you use the poison move. The psychic have resistance to poison though. It might because poison's weak. So maybe this will be just neutral. No, it is super.
for a rarity. Alright, well, at least we have one in common. Look at that non shiny. Such a less cool color palette. Rarity using that moon. Acrobatics? Mine didn't learn that. Crap, Rarity. I can't let Rarity fall. I refuse to. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that is your ability. Damn it. I should know that. I use one. I just want the quick hit, though. This is my last Pokemon. Seriously? Oleana's... Why are you talking in third person now? Back to poison type, huh? Mm, it's both Dynamax. I know you're gonna do it. Oh, hey! I didn't know that that became... that Mirror Code even became uh, a pack when you Dynamax. Yeah, that's kind of... Handy. I'm ready. Why is the... I mean, you're, obviously what they do is save their favorite Pokemon to Dynamax. So why, why is your favorite Pokemon literally garbage? It's kind of cool with the boat in it, but... Uh, everything. <laughs> Still, I, I, I question your taste. That's a bit unfortunate. Glaceon. Ah, I wasn't able to win. Oliana, you really are a hopeless woman. Ah, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Typical serendipity. You and... Chandelier are unstoppable. <laughs> you just really randomly say whatever Pokemon I have in the first spot, don't you? Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and still you failed to understand what's at stake. You, who was supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's... Okay, so the tournament was scheduled for tomorrow. I guess that makes sense. 
I guess I missed that. It's not like it's supposed to be tonight. <laughs> In order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this. This madness, it's to carry out the championship match. That's what Galar wants and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of with Leon here. This is a bit far off. I mean, it, uh, it really... We can work on it, but... Uh, I don't really see why we have to postpone this big event that the whole country was looking forward to. Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman, and I give my word I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Like, why Why can't we do this? Lee, you never showed when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all those Team Yell Oddballs, they all helped us to, out to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, serendipity. Let's head back to the hotel, and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose, and I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history books. Alright, that seems a bit anticlimactic after all that. We don't even have to fight the guy? One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We know I'm going to change the course of history. Okay, so there's still something that we're going to have happen the next evening. The next evening. So, this is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I have had butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. <laughs> Challenger Serendipity The finals will be starting shortly I'm here to escort you to the stadium What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Rillaboom I'll be happy to give you one No wait please I'm not like those other Leaf staff I'm a good one if I would say so myself <laughs> Okay I mean I would agree I heard about what happened yesterday Miss Oleana can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, let's hope. Well, that's what she says. I guess we can trust her then, yeah, Serendipity? Let's go, I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way up to Wyndham Stadium? Uh, let me just check my team real quick. Uh, I think I want to put Doro back in front. I still got the same dialogue from people around. I guess we can just go. I mean, it's probably going to give me an opportunity to change my order anyway. Yeah, yeah, holy. Of course.
Hey, you too. You know where Marnie is? Is she gonna come cheer for me again? That was freaking adorable. Serendipity! This is it. Here at Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium in all Galar, you're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. So go get yourself checked in. Let us save again. <laughs> Look at that. I'm all famous now. Screw you. <laughs> I don't like you. Okay. Before I get started, let me check the chat one more time. RDC's a female character. NPC or not, she's cute. I really do like the female staff design. I mean, I'm not just saying that. I think it is pretty cute. Yeah, that's lame. It's only for when you have two Pokemon. That's, uh... Makes it very limited in its use. I mean, I thought it let you just switch out, like, automatically. Um, which, I mean, I guess it would be kind of pointless, just having a bit, an ability that does it, unless it does something else as well, like power you up. So maybe... I don't know. That Pokemon has a kind of limited moveset, so I was just kind of looking for a fourth move to fill the gap, but I, I, I think I need to find a different one. Why does this chandelier have fire spin? Um, I mean, that's what it learns. I don't know. I mean, it's got uh, overheat. Team Flare from Pokemon XY? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think Fire Spin is fine. Uh, you may not have noticed, but the held item I gave Hecapoo is the Wide Lens, so that kind of makes up for the mediocre accuracy. So it's uh, 95 accuracy. And the damage is not great, but uh, her insane special attack kind of makes up for it, I think. And uh, then it also does the added damage after with uh, the actual Vortex. So it's, uh, I don't think it's a bad choice. I mean, the, the experts, the competitive experts, they can, they can <laughs> be the judge. But I think it actually works on that Pokemon. Yeah, level 50 I think would have been better. Would have given this more challenge. Um... Leon, Marnie, and one other were my only real challenge. Well, Mar Marnie was easy, so though I guess I have a good team for her. Um, The Garbodor is heartwarming though because it was her first. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. I take it back. 
That's really cute. It'll be interesting to actually battle you guys. I guess we have to, we have to do that at some point. Mm. If that's right, Artie, we chased a macro cosmos guy all across Winden, climbed all the way up Rose Tower, and fought Oleana in a Pokemon battle because Hop was hungry. I guess that's true. Um, I mean, we could have just ate without Leon, but uh, I, I think he could have just said no. I mean, <laughs> like, what was he going to do? What was Trim and Rose going to do? Like, no, we're still doing this. That's, that's dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> Just give her a flamethrower instead. Was that not available? I mean, I don't, I don't remember if she learns that. I might have replaced that with overheat, but uh, I don't know. All right. Well, I think we'll still start with Doro. Don't know what we're going to be start, who we're going to be fighting first or anything. I'm still kind of confused about this whole finals thing. Like, they're saying finals and not just the match with the champion, so... Is there... Something else? Challenger Serenity, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must... Oh. Okay, so just... <laughs> what? <laughs> Boss Rush mode now? Is that what we're doing? That doesn't make sense as the finals. They weren't competing in the tournament. They were... Okay. I guess I guess that sort of makes sense because a lot of them, like the dragon guy, they're all about challenging the champion. So I guess they just God, who was first? Who was the first gym leader? I didn't know that's what we're doing. Oh, I know where we can look for that. Oh, this guy. He was the grass type. Okay. So, we do want to start with Hecaboo still. I mean, I assume, I assume we're going in the same order. I don't know if I have full time for this, but we'll, we'll do like at least three minutes. I assume they'll give me chances to save it. Melanie! She's there! Oh, they're all here. Hey, Nessa. Long time no see. This will be a different sort of battle than you faced in the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this is a serious battle. I'd say I aim to win this thing. And I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spike with reclaim their pride. Uh, and to see him smile once again. My mask, it feels like it's going to fall off. Oh, or you can sit, that's cute. I'm going to win my way through every round, then I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't, then I'll have failed to repay Durladoon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. My first match is against Ryan of all... Oh, maybe I... Okay, maybe I'm not going to fight all of them. Okay, so they're going to be fighting each other. Well, that's interesting. So they just get a... So they just get together to have a tournament amongst themselves with one challenger from the outside. Huh. But even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easy. Okay, so... I won't be putting on a showy battle for the crowd. I'll show everyone what a severe battle truly is. You do that. If 
If I don't win, I want you to. I'm pretty sure it's game over if I don't win. <laughs> or... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. What, what does happen if I don't win? I'll always press on and challenge myself. Because, I mean, if you don't win usually in a gym battle, you just are able to take it again, but... Can we do the Champion Cup again? I don't think we can. I'll always press on and challenge myself so that I can go as... So... As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. So from the information I gathered there, I'm not going to be fighting him first. I don't know who I'm going to be fighting first. In that case, we'll bring Doro back. Will you be heading onto the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon. I'm ready. Then in you go. All right. Let's do this. And there he is. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galar. I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds me stepping in. In order to lead you all to greater heights as Pokemon trainers of the Galar region, the time has come for you to battle it out until the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the finals match is begin. Alright. I hope I get to fight Melanie. Wait, you? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, is he... How is he... Is he qualified to be a gym leader now? <laughs> a moment, if I may, does anyone here even remember me? I'm Beat, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. He's a challenger endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with challenger serendipity here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless, let me battle her. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. I, I, this is... Uh, okay. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events. Um... Let's come for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with John. Yeah, this seems... I, I thought he was, like, here in an official capacity for that old lady, but, uh... Um... I guess not. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something, do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Oleana who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then the strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy-type Pokemon. You have any idea what I've been been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles, with fairy-type Pokemon every day. And here I am, pouring my heart out to you, when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Beat's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for challenger serendipity? My will hasn't been broken yet. All right, I guess we're doing this. Oh, well. Okay. Well, you're getting kicked in the face. We face too much to quit now. We've got no oh, intimidate sucks. Still, you're getting kicked in the face. Oh, you survived it. Yeah, I know that too. Okay, Gardevoir, huh? Yeah. 
Should I swap out here? I think I'm not. I think I'm just going to drop kick it. Let's see what that does. Oh, that's good damage. You know, luckily we're pure grass and not grass poison or anything like that, so... Okay, fine. Rapidash. Okay. Now we're kind of weak, though, so I think now I probably should swap out for you. expression. Think you're going to win? I mean, I think it's pretty likely, honestly. And that's your last Pokemon. you a truly great pink. Nice. Hatterene is a pretty cool Pokemon. Yeah, shame about that though. You get one shot it. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are, huh? Kind of able to do that myself. I have two on my team. Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Beat was no match for Challenger Serenipity and her trusted team. Hey, Beat, that was some match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents I'll be able to overtake Miss, Op Miss Opal in no time. The stadium filled with voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Serendipity, please head back to the locker room so that you can rest up from that unexpected match. Is that, well, is that even counted as a first match, or? Rather surprising for Challenger Beat to barge in like that. In any case, once you've, you're ready, please head on to the pitch. The finals are up. Okay. I'm not sure that counted. So do I still have, do I still have two more matches? Still most confident starting with Doro. <laughs> I 
The time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are... A trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Serendipity. Her opponent is... Oh, Nessa, good. What? Oh. oh, a good matchup, too. The Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Holbury Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? It is because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash out, wash you out to sea and beyond the horizons. All right. I'm glad we get to see her again. I'm guessing we're not going to get Melanie, but maybe. But it's probably going to be Raihan. I would guess it's right on after this. Because, of course, it's going to be. Sonya might be vegan. Oh, I'm thinking about. Thinking about her wife. And you're not weak to grass, so you're. Oh, yeah, you're bug type. Bug type? If you use a bug type move, that could be a bit dicey. Um. I mean, it probably would have been fine, but you never know. Seeking ice? I forget. Yeah, I think it is. Freeze dry is still super effective. I, I guess. Okay, well, let's use it. Water, or is it like? Looks like it could be like water dark or something. Whatever the case, it's still weak to freeze dry. Probably double with the food dry. Saving the best for last. Now, if I Dynamax, though, Freeze Dry will use, lose its special effect, so. Not really something I want to do. You're gonna Dynamax and do a power hit. Confidence Doro can take it. Man, I, I'd consider using Kyoka, but uh, I know her defense is lower than Dor Doro's. Both her defensive stats. But I would think this is going to use a physical attack looking at it. Probably like a razor shell or something. Wow. That's 
one intimidating tur turtle. Oh, it's using a rock move. Okay. Is it water rock? If so, I mean, grass is gonna... Oh, it must be, yeah, because high jump kick is super effective. But if it is, then it's it's double weak to grass. And only a single weak to that, so... And if I Dynamax... This is a better way to go anyway. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Well, good to see you again, Nessa. Hopefully they heal us. Between I do want to switch up my order too, but uh, put me through in front. You had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. And the winner is Serendipity. She defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and has now pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing <laughs> you're always talking about her. I wish I'd pay more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Galar got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle on the, the first round will begin shortly. Okay. So... So Alistair and Mel... Oh, Alistair beat Melanie. Uh, Melanie out in the first round. That's disappointing. I almost... Okay, so there are two matches, actually. So I'm going to fight Alistair. And, uh... Of course, Raihan beat Milo. And Piers beat... Ka oh, that's cool. So I'm probably going to face Raihan. I mean, it'd be cool to fight to fight Piers. I kind of... I'm rooting for him. But obviously Raihan's going to beat him. So Alistair, that was... Was that the ghost kid? Pretty sure it was. What are ghosts weak, again, weak to again other than ghost? Oh, they're weak to dark. I don't have a dark type in this team. I don't even think I have anyone with dark type move. So do I start with Hecapoo even though I'm... Well, she's... I guess I do. Just hope that I'm faster. Might be a bit tricky, this one. Huh? Gotta avenge Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've already at the final, at the second match of the finals. Of the four remaining challengers, which two will be left for the, for the last match? If you're just turning in, ladies and gentlemen, tuning in, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this US Championship Cup as the former gym challenger beat stormed on stage, but Serendipity was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. And now, to take her on, here comes gym leader Alistair, the boy known far and wide as the silent school age star. Malister, you look well. I remember you. You're the strongest gym challenger I had. Er, so I reckon we should battle. 
<laughs> what a weird kid. Jim Lear Alistair. Dusk Noir. Ghost vs. Ghost. Mine looks faster, but we'll see. You never know. Everyone's looking. I want to hide, but I'll fight. I got 10 levels on you, so... I'm thinking I should be pretty good. Yeah, well, pretty sure mine's better. It's got 10 levels. Am I gonna win this just by spamming Shadow Ball? Right now it's looking like that's the case. Very last Pokemon, how lonely, how frightening. Gengar. Cool. Go on to the classic. The original ghost type. Hmm. I like this battle thing. Everything in darkness. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a bit <laughs> bit of an interesting look for Gengar. Uh, it looks like it's ready to swallow everything indeed. I mean Swallow that. Good job, Hekato. You uh, <laughs> got through that pretty easily. <laughs> Maybe my mask kept me from seeing just how strong you really are. Challenger Sarah Dibdi has done it again. What a performance. She sails right through. Crumbs. That was ace. Give it your best out there. I'm mad about strong trainers. Our seemingly unstoppable challenger is headed for the final round, but who will she meet there? Will it be I Pass on Dynamaxing Peers or the Dragon Lord himself, Raihan? The next match will be will decide it, so don't go far from your screens. Yep. Raihan gloriously defeated Peers. Saw that coming. So who, I guess I start with Mitsuru. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing me. Sorry, Serendipity. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Raihan. He looks so sloppy out there that people are gonna think we're both weak because we're related. 
You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it, but what exa But that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Serendipity. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. I kind of wish we got to see the other battles. I mean, that'd be kind of interesting. Sorry to come in for a chin wag, but just before the final match, right, Hans? Waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. Some of these phrasings <laughs> give me a bit of trouble. Okay. Yeah, I, I know he has Pokemon that are resistant to ice, but still, I think... I mean, since he is a Dragon-type leader... Actually, Dragons are weak to Fairy. That might actually be more dependable. Although, like his Durladoon, I, I think he... Yeah, that's... Not gonna work, but... Uh, I mean, maybe... Nah, we'll stick with Bonnie. We'll switch her out if it's something I can't handle. I mean, it's almost three, so maybe I should... I mean, it's a shame to stop here. Let's let's at least be, be Ryan. Maybe I'll save Leon for next time. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star challenger Serendipity, or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival? The, the Tamer of Dragons, Raihan. You're really something else, kid. You've made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chose you, so I've got to... Pr to first prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've re my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Ryan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. We'll, we'll see about that. I wonder if you're actually going to use dragons this time. I seem to recall you not using that many last time. Yeah, this is just the fire type. Yeah, I know what it does. Uh, well, you're not the right Pokemon for this. Who is the right Pokemon for this? I don't have a good one for this, actually. I guess it's Fire Rock? I have to use this Fire. This would be good. Use this rock though, then less good. Oh, you're using a grass type attack. Okay, I, I see. Y yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, you're not a grass type, right? And we're back to this. And now I wish I had my ice type out. In fact, that's a ground type, so I'm actually in danger. Good to see an actual dragon, though. 
Well, you're just gonna change the weather a bunch, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, I could do that too if I wanted. I have hail. Yeah, I, I get it, Sandstorm. Faster, huh? Yeah, you're not gonna be able to take this, though. So. Oh. Now that looks a little bit dangerous for Mitsuru. You're probably going to need to make it sunny again or something, right? Let's go back to heck. Okay, poo. Shell trap, huh? Okay, well. Yeah, you weren't anticipating that. You get shadow balled. I think this was a pretty good uh, final choice for my team here. She almost didn't make the cut, but ekpoo has been doing pretty well here. Gudra, cute. From what I recall, Gudra has a lot of water moves. That could be dangerous. It's not a water type, but... Uh, I know what it learns water moves. Yeah. Hekapu might not have taken that so well. Thunder too? Oh crap. Oh well thank you, Bonnie. I'm glad you love me. You do realize I'm the great Raihan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon, so... There it is. Um, hmm... I don't know... Oh, actually, oh, I, oh, it is weak to, to fight it. I think I'm gonna leave Bonnie in though and just Dynamax her and try and see what happens. And if she faints, then I'll just send Doro out. That's kind of interesting. I mean, I think I've seen it before, but uh, the design's really interesting on that one. I feel like a skyscraper. Because he used it last time, I'm pretty sure.
Oh wow. Yeah, that was effective. Get rid of that sandstorm. Or, or I guess it, it just kind of combines. Forget how it works. It would have to be another actual weather, not just a battlefield. We could heal it. Okay. Fair enough. Though, I mean, you are know, kind of wasting a turn while, uh, while Dynamax. You might have been able to take her out, but. Oh, you, oh it's Steel type! Damn it, I forgot. That's gonna kill her, yeah. Like. Oh, well, Bonnie, sorry about that. I hate to see you fall, but, uh. You will be avenged. Oh, yeah, 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 that's... That's kind of unnecessary, but... Still learning moves, huh, Rarity? I don't know if Future Sight's worth it, though. I mean, it's more powerful than Psychic, but you have to wait, uh, wait two turns? It doesn't seem worth it to me. It's a move I usually pass on. Losing in the finals was pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. You do that. Challenger Serendipity seizes victory. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us, beyond anything I had imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you've ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Chal number 777, Challenger Serendipity, has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed her. Alright. Looking forward to beating Leon. Alright, the big moment's finally here, eh? I j came just to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's a showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Rillaboom. Good input. Right, you reckon I should cheer for Serendipity too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together, way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Rillaboom. Alright. I'm gonna save there. We'll fight Leon next time. I'm gonna read chat, and then we'll sign off. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of uh, Hime. I don't know. I, I watched like one video from her. It didn't really look like my taste, but she, she does have a cute design. Mm, prepare for the power of pink. It, yeah. I, 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 I know people like her a lot. I, I chose Melanie over her personally, but uh, 
<laughs> Melanie ended up not really playing much of a role. You don't even need to fight her a second time. It's kind of a shame. I would have fought her. I would have rather fight her than Alistair for sure. Yes, I remember that dog. I, I remember that. Yes. If Artie had guard of a rat, we could have had a battle of giant waifus. I mean, yeah. People talking about the Pokemon anime. Yeah, freeze dry is pretty cool. I like that it's effective against water types. Makes it pretty useful. Gives uh, ice types yet another um, type that they're advantageous towards. And they already have a lot that they they can uh, that they're good against, like flying types and ground types and um, dragon types. So it's so I, I really like ice types. One of my favorite. I haven't seen Twilight Wings yet. I want to. I definitely want to. But even without it, I, I, I ship those two. And that's a, and Sonia. In the game, if you read everything, it kind of makes it easy enough. Mm. GMAX. Dura Ladoon is apparently based off a building in London called the Shard. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Would I cry over my dead wife as if I was doing a Nuzlocke? Um, possibly. Yeah, people told me the backstory eventually. I, uh, that makes it a lot better, a lot sweeter. Um, yeah, this was kind of a quick stream, sorry about that. I wish I had woken up like a half hour earlier just so I'd be able to face Leon 2 in the stream. But, um, I mean, just as I'm challenging the Champion Cup in the title, it's not a... It's not, which I did do. It's not as big a lie as uh, the Fire Emblem stream last week. Um, which we will actually be finishing the Crimson, Crimson Flower route of, of Fire Emblem this, uh, this Wednesday. Um... For sure this time. <laughs> Last time though it got interrupted by my power flickering out and uh, I didn't want to rush the battle anyway so I just decided to stop. Um, but yeah that's something to look forward to this week. Tomorrow I'm doing something interesting. It's a it's something I've never played before. It, it will be a game and uh, it'll be something I'm going to be doing with a group. Not going to say yet but um, should be fun. And um, Thursday, I guess I gotta start a new game too. I'm pretty sure I know which one. Uh, haven't bought the game yet though, so we'll um, get that. Though again, Thursday is gonna be for like shorter games, so expect it to be something that has a game length of under like 12 hours, just so I can be in like three or more streams at most. Um, and then Friday, more Minecraft. I actually have been playing more Minecraft. I built my house. Um, but we're going to the Nether on Friday, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, anyway, that's about all we have for today. Um, this was a fun stream. And, um, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully, I mean, you guys don't know what it is, but uh, should be fun. <laughs> Anyway, see you guys. Um, hope you enjoy. I, I already did that. I messed up my outro. <laughs> but again, hope you enjoyed the stream. Let me know if you did, and see you.